I read it. I said it. This is my day at Lowe's. I met Ellen one and a half years ago now when I took over this class from another teacher. And then it's going to be cookery. Because of her cerebral palsy, she is unable to walk. She's unable to stand independently. She was non-verbal, wasn't expected to talk. Which way have I got to go now? That way. This way, OK. Trelaws is a really unique and special place. It is a school for two to 19 year olds, uh, predominantly with physical disabilities, but we also cater for a range of different needs. So learning difficulties, communication difficulties, emotional difficulties. Our therapeutic interventions are interwoven across the curriculum. Ellen will be working on targets, and that might be physiotherapy targets, occupational therapy targets, speech and language therapy targets. Her well-being is paramount to us here, because if she's happy at school, she'll be learning. I really love Sue. We're very, very lucky to have experienced staff to be able to take the children swimming. They can play with their friends, laugh with their friends, and they're doing their physio, and they have that once a week. Oh, Ellen, that is lovely. Good girl. I like kicking my legs. Well done, guys. She will then go up to the chill-out zone, which is where the children eat their snack. Where's the chill-out zone? There. there it is, straight ahead, isn't it? When she first was being taught with me, she was actually being gastro-fed, but she's done so well now, she's eating and drinking all on her own. A small spoonful, that's a good girl, well done. We have a lot of outdoor facilities and there are plenty of benefits for the children to learn outside practically. I love looking for little frogs. Good girl, good girl, good girl. I think we're going to get something special. It's just so wonderful to, for the children to experience micro habitats, food chains. If I want to make the children happy, I take them outside. And if they're happy, they're learning. I hope I didn't hurt you. I'm sure you were very kind. Goodbye, tadpoles. I love school because I have fun there. I have fun there. She loves any art and craft or sensory activity, and that's all developing her fine motor skills and her concentration, which is really, really important for children as they are developing. I love holding the rabbits. We have rabbits here in primary. We have to clean the rabbits out, feed the rabbits. So it's a really good learning experience for the children here to know that they can take responsibility for others. You have got a list of instructions. The cooking at Trelaws is really important because it is very sensory. It includes lots of numeracy skills. See if you can make these into ten pieces. And also what they do love is taking it home. Oh, that's your cookery done, isn't it? All by myself. You cut everything by yourself, did you? From Ellen being non-verbal to being probably one of the chattiest children in class, I think it's the way that she has used her voice and expressed herself. She's just been encouraged all the time. Bye. Take it away, Ellen. Goodbye. Our aspiration is that our students live as independent as possible with the ability to be able to communicate with the wider community. Here we go home. Without Trelaws, I wouldn't imagine that she would make so much progress. She wouldn't be able to speak, she wouldn't be able to dress herself, she wouldn't be getting the physio, and I don't think she would be such a confident child as she is now. OK, bye, Helen. Bye. bye. See you tomorrow. I look forward to going home and seeing my family.